Hey, Rani here. Should we play a game? Oh dear, what happened to my head? <laughs> Last time in Splatoon 3, we experienced a true nightmare. So, let's try something else. By which I mean, don't mean another game, of course I mean just a different, a different stage in Splatoon 3. Don't panic. <laughs> Hold on a second. I realize, just realized after I said that how that could be interpreted. Okay, let's have a look at the kettle list. Have we done them all? Um, looks like it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep, I think that's all of them in this area. <laughs> now, have we now unlocked the entire alternative? Yes, we have. Oh. What? Is this an origin story for cephalopods in Splatoon in general? What? Anyway, how you doing? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay. So now we have an explanation as to why we're just so damn fresh. Okay. Let's go see what's through that gate over there. Okay, what's through here? Was that like, oh, I thought I saw some like barrels of like nuclear waste or something on that. Okay, this, this island isn't all snowy, this island is kind of dirty. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, all good your end? More dancing today? Oh wait, I've already been here. I have the power eggs to unlock more things. Okay, paper lantern. I don't remember this place not being snowy. I think my brain scrambled. Wait, what's the little guy found? Where's he going? Oh, over there, fair enough. Okay, what else is going on? Can we get that from here? No, no, we can't. Right, let's deal with this stage over here. It can't possibly be any winner as bad as that <laughs> horrendous target marathon thing. Hey, how's it going? Charge now, splat later. Is that talking about sleep? Okay, what have we got? The charge storing. Oh, is this the thing where we can... Stand in the box. Anything can. No? Okay, you can. Oh, okay, it does, re it does re remain charged. Then we're kind of weirdly glowing in the middle. I guess. Wait, did something go like backwards? I don't know. I'm sure the level will explain it to us. Bang! Oh, <laughs> it went a bit wrong then. Boom! Ah! I haven't got the hang of this clearly. <laughs> I felt this would be a lot easier if I wasn't trying to do what the mission wanted me to do. Oh, 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 oh. No one here, no one here, no one here. Is there a reason why like glowing bright? 
Oh, oh, to stay still too long, it, it discharges. Okay. Right. Okay, lesson learned. Oh, yeah, right there. I was like, oh, where? Nice! Okay, cool, cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I guess we can hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Kali, don't interrupt me. Nice, nice. Okay, this this part of the stage is making more sense. <laughs> okay, what, what do we have going on there? Yeah, that is quite a few, isn't it? Let's empty these boxes first. No, I mean Cali. F what? <laughs> Everyone knows, it's not a secret. You can't be a secret agent and a pop star and not have people know. It's like, yeah, I'm trying to think of um, racking my brain for someone who's actually popular. Um, God, I don't actually know any popular musicians. <laughs> I was going to give about five different names. I realize they're all... <laughs> They're all like 20 years old. <laughs> Most of them, I'm guessing, have not had a, a record out in like. Well, I'm saying record, as in time of Rob Boomer. Um, not had a hit single out in like 10, 20 years. <laughs> well, to be honest, they could have had a hit single out. I just wouldn't know. Okay, okay. If Ed Sheeran was a... wait, not... Yeah. <laughs> was a secret agent. I, I'm guessing he's still putting out music, I have no idea. Oops. Ah, so I guess I can kind of sneak behind a bit with this. Oh, no, no, they're tracking me. Okay, let's get out of it. Ah, so I'm probably going to charge when I'm going to this. Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> That's a good point, maybe he is. Oh my god, he's been hiding in plain sight for years and nobody noticed. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot it was him, yeah. So I guess it's... Wait, those guys just popped in. I mean, have there been any kind of like major pop artists who've had a slowdown in output recently? Maybe, maybe we can, you know, start narrowing this down. Because if they're going on like missions and stuff. <gasps> you know what? A world tour would actually be a great cover for like doing hits and stuff around the. Well, not that kind of hit. The other kind of hits around the world, right? Like, yeah, I'm I'm doing a, a tour in I don't know um, South America, which is totally where the yeah like the bad guys are this time. The question is, are they actually, are they being ghostwritten as part of their cover? Or are they just that multi-talented? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> There we go, got there eventually. Ah! 
<laughs> That's the thing I was trying to remember how to do. Um, oh, it's the end of the level. Okay. That one wasn't so rough. I guess anything's easy compared to that um, target nightmare. Still don't know how that's possible to do without motion controls with the bow. He must actually be a maniac. Oh, was it? He is? Where is he? Yeah, there's, there's kind of a wall there, dude. I mean, like... Do, um... Do some... Do, do someone, like, think in 2D? Because, like, it's just not... Not even slightly aware there's a wall there. I'm curious to know what this, what this little guy is doing to actually clear these you know, blockages. Why is he immune and we're not? Oh, there it is. I'm sure we'll get some deepest lore at some point explaining exactly why um, that buddy is immune and we're not. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. If, if the law has been established that Inklings and Octolings sort of came, you know, evolved from this place, but the Salmonoids didn't, there may be like some, I don't know, some common DNA or something that the Inklings and Octolings have with the fuzzy stuff that they don't. That would kind of make sense. That would kind of make sense. No, 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 not, not targets. No, not targets. Not targets. Not like this. Okay, the game told me to try this, so I'm going to try this. Yeah, I think this stage is likely to be easier as well. I think that one last time was the harder, was the hardest of these. I mean, this one looks trivial by comparison, right? We haven't got time to shoot the uh, shoot the power eggs. Easy. <laughs> Proceeds to miss all of the shots. Die, Power Eggs, die! Oh! We forgot to jump rails. I'm doing a lot more rail jumping in this one. <gasps> is that a checkpoint? In a rail rider level? Is that, is that even legal? Good. Right, where's this one going? Gotcha. Yeah, that cover isn't going to do much good if I have lost it, to be honest. Is it been hiding somewhere? No. That train's a mag life. Cool. Oh! Get distracted by the background scenery. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I'm doing okay. Wait, what the heck is this nonsense? What are all these lines? Oh. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that one was not very rough. I say um, tricky targets, but not not compared to the, not compared to the nonsense last time. Where's he going? See, these shipping containers you can ink for some reason. Oh! Right, moving on. What do we have here? Ink fast, hot shot. We'll destroy the targets to reach the goal. I I'm getting the feeling we were supposed to have a lot of practice runs up until, um... <laughs> you know, a lot of easier levels based on the same concept before we went all in with the insanity there. Oh, this one's not on rails, okay. Oh! It's not on rails, but it's the same idea. Okay. What trickery is this? Is this your balloon, sir? Oop, needs to charge. Charge! No! Okay, let's try that again. Let's go faster. There we go, that's better. So I, think I actually quite like the bow, I'm just not very good with it. Oh, this is a lot going on. Oh, I should have recharged. Oh, that was close. There we go. Right, <laughs> when you're on the plot, can, can you actually just recharge it normally when you're just out in the middle of nowhere? That's kind of hard to tell because I keep standing in it. Anyway. Final challenge. Damn! Again, I cannot believe you did all this stuff without motion controls. <laughs> what is wrong with you on so many levels? I wonder how good this would have been if I'd um, not had like any about a two year hiatus between playing um, well, yeah, about a two year hiatus between playing two and playing this. The game's definitely different, but I feel there's definitely plenty of transferable skills which I've let atrophy and lost. Okay, hitching rides. This means making puddles of ink on things and riding in those puddles of ink. So the ends up, this is, I think this is like a, yeah, it's, it's like, it's similar to a splatter shot, right? Okay. Nobody here. Ah. Just 
just shocking out here, just shocking, it's great. Yo! Okay. Ah, riding on the wings of these things again. Someone button, so stupid. Ah. Yeah, um, grates are a great way to <laughs> grates are a great way to accidentally kill yourself in Splatoon games. They really are. Like, I'll just uh, I'll just go into Twinkling form and ah. Uh... So Inkling form, I mean that's good form. No, I completely screwed that up. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's try that again. Regain our focus, as we like to say. There we go, it's more like it. Back to there. Back up here. And this time, no squid fall. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's only basic platforming, dude. So I guess that the uh, big and the small octo missiles must be kept in um, must be kept in pretty good sync for this to line up nicely. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look around the planet to move, just make sure there's nothing leaving behind. Looks good. Hang on. Ah! Nearly fell for it. Nearly fell for it. Right, so because that the top of that's um got like a got metal on it, you can't um, you can't ink it, so you need to sort of Oh, oh, you can just hop over the top of it. I thought I had to squid surge over it, but that's actually... That makes more sense. It's very easy momentum a bit. Okay, where's this going? Oh! Idea of like the human built lab and the uh, <laughs> sort of test chamber thing in the AI. This has me thinking Talos Principle. Is this going is this game going Talos Principle? Because that's pretty cool if so. It's one of one, I dare you. I changed my mind, I don't dare you anymore. <laughs> so you know that um, in Splatoon they have jets, and I do wonder if they're like, you know, work in the same way ours do. Or are they basically just like, um, giant ink jets flying <laughs> across the sky? Oh, I must have timed, oh, yeah, I must have needed to time that well to get to that. Oh well. Yeah, are they um, internal combustion engines? Burning, you know, liquid dinosaur? Or is there something else going on in there? They also have cars, and I'm like, do those, are those diesel? Are they electric? Are they ink? I don't know. What's under here? 
An upgrade point. Fair enough. Hey, then, that. Okay, we'll turn it. We'll turn it. Actually, let's first. 900, this better be good. Ah, it's a thing. Give me the thing. Yay, it's a food ticket. Anything else around here before I can go off that? I think I've already been this way. Oh, what's that? Um, I'll go back in a sec. Oh! That's cool. Ah, there it is, yeah. I'm assuming you're talking about that one. <laughs> Let's have another little look around, because there's a good chance I missed another one. Good at that, good at that. Ah, cool. Where's that one? Cheers. Okay. Oh, I've got a real abundance of power eggs now. Sunken scroll. Tell me more. Tell me more. Give me lore. Is it to enhance the bodily toxins? Oh, of course, because it's right. Okay, it took me a second there. It took me a second because, of course, they, of course, they have toxins. Right. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> Yeah, it took me a second because I was sort of like, why would you want to enhance your bodily toxins? Oh, because they <laughs> they produce toxins, obviously. <laughs> they hate puns. Yeah, you could have fooled me. Everything in this damn game's a pun. Okay, what we're we going for? What we're we going for? I will try this. They are Octarians on pogo sticks. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's kind of neat. They have like, yeah. It's, you know, a silly joke, but they have some narrative kind of flowing between the uh, novel descriptions and the in-game dialogue. That's actually quite a nice touch. <laughs> you know, I've never played that game. They made a lot of them. Ah! <laughs> they made a lot of those, didn't they? It was like the, the for a while, it was the, the PC pl platformer. This is like <laughs> wearing these sort of yellow jackets. That's kind of strange. Yeah, it's one of those things where the game's had so many entries in it. From what I've seen, I don't think they're actually super dissimilar. Um, they all look vaguely similar, like at least the classic ones. But I've not played them, so I'm. <laughs> Maybe generalizing. <laughs> oh wait, are these? I'm trying to get, trying to get, trying to get a good look at them. 
I'm getting like a vague impression of the um, Japanese folklore thing that's like a hopping umbrella. The, the thing that threw clogs at me in um, Kobe Stream on 2. I don't know if it's supposed to be that, but I'm getting a slight feeling of it. Stop it, girls! You're just you're just annoying them more. Yeah, I don't I don't remember what they're called, but they're definitely a thing. Yeah, this level was weirdly like easy. <laughs> Google um, Japanese folklore um, single footed. Parasol with clogs. <laughs> that's the one, yeah. That's that rings quite a bell. Oh. Th th those are not birds. Okay. Okay, I'll try this one game. What the heck is going on out there? It's like the weeping angels are turning into vaporwave monsters. Okay. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure one turned up in um, Ghostwire Tokyo as well. This is genuinely not what I was expecting, but okay. Oh, that was close. Yeah. I see what the uh, agent's advice meant there. I was, I was like, a dodge roll to break something. Is it going to start shooting at me? I see what they mean there. Okay, five left. Gotcha. 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 Good, good question. Where is it? Wait, are we talking about in game or in here? <laughs> so I can put one in here. It just might take a week or two. Um, in game, um, I'm afraid that's up to Nintendo. I don't know if there's much of a ROM hack community for this game yet. Indeed, any of the Splatoon games, given their multiplayer focus. Oh no, this 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 sounds like something that could be a bad time. <laughs> the closest thing I can really think of is um, uh, there's a YouTube channel called uh, Chris Quits Reality. Now that that is um, that is quite a thing to behold. Um, that guy plays VR chat while using like pogo sticks and um, skateboards and things like that. Um, there was a thing where he and someone else had um, like a lightsaber duel on hoverboards. Um, it never ends well, it's always entertaining, but it's, it's quite degenerate. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I keep getting recommended at his stuff, I think. 
Uh, I don't think it's anything like that. It's, um, I think he has some kind of background in like gymnastics or something, and he just keeps coming up with ridiculous stuff. Like, there's, um, oh, there was one where um, when the Quest 2 came out, which is the headset that um, can run games itself, you don't need a PC. He started like trying to find more. Is that Ferrari? That's straight up a Ferrari. What the heck? Um, he started finding more and more ridiculous places to play it, and he started playing it hanging from the bottom of a railway bridge. Like, with one arm up like this, pulling itself up while playing Beat Saber with the other hand. It was so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so now we've got a, dump a dumpster in a Ferrari. What a day. It's behind this door. Hey, it's trading cards! And it's behind this door. More music, cool. I wonder if this game has a Squid Beats thing in it from um, the second game where it had like a rhythm mini game that was actually brutally difficult. I'm curious to know if it's in this one. Okay, we're back to the soaker blocks, the kind of blocks that kind of fold out when you shoot the source block. <laughs> That's like a big arcade unit, what? Um, Octo Expansion had a whole a bunch of like retro stuff in it, so we're kind of getting that back. Okay, we're kind of making chains of them there. Ah, oh, they've given me a weapon that doesn't have a huge amount of range. Okay. Oh. Can't afford to finish the job, but... Oh, it keeps falling off. I have to throw him at the side of it. Okay. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It's kind of like an alternative Tetris where the blocks kind of un unpack themselves from single squares. Okay, they're going to basically mess this block up. So I need to sort them out first. Oh, I can actually just sort of like bait them in by getting close to the edge. Oh, that kind of didn't work out because they both rose to, to, to get to a uh, little body, so it didn't work out. Anyway, that would work. Damn, I saw a lot of them right now. What's the gimmick here? Oops. Temple jump. Oh! So I have to jump back. Oh, hang on, I need to do like a squid burst thing, don't I? Yes, there we go. Nice. Where are we going? It's giving that guy's sense of where I I mean, you keep going, buddy. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to kind of go sideways up this. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> It's all worked out in the end. Okay, so we've got an Octo Command. Yeah, I was going to say an Octo Sniper, but it's not. Well, 
boys. We need to stay. Oh, I missed. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, 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 Can I get that now? Okay, I can. Excellent. Hopefully that folds out pretty close. Okay, yeah, that worked out. Ah! Oh, don't shoot the block next to you. Oh. <laughs> that could have gone really badly if like any of that landed on that source block and it, it just unfolded underneath me. Oh. <sighs> yeah, the levels in this feel quite short. I imagine you can get some really fast times on this. Um, that said, some of the times I saw people posting for levels in Splatoon 2 were just ridiculous. They're able to get through those levels so fast. Speedrunners are just a different breed, man. Oh! That's unusual to have the sea so close. It's quite a rough sea as well, it's really rolling down. That's right, so what we've got here, we have a basic weapon, cool, cool. Okay, where will this take us? Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Is it that song again that's all done there? No. I'd be curious to see how big the OST for this game actually is, because uh, the OST in like the um, previous games is actually really small. Every song is really unique, so it's kind of fine. Ah, it's a platform over. Ah, secrets. I gotcha. Oh yeah, yeah, there was definitely like plenty of OST in like the uh, bosses and stuff, but the um, the actual level things, there weren't actually that many of them. Hey, nice work. Scratching one by yourself. I frequently sidestep into the line of fire, it's great. Oops. I missed those parags. Oops. <laughs> and then sneak into open territory, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a common trait, doesn't it? Right into the line of fire we go. Wait, these? No. I'm getting portal vibes from these kind of like white tiles of like uh, neon inside. Get out of here. I need to. That uh, U2 uh, actually reminds me of um, a really strange line from Vesperia. I think it might be in the Definitive Edition only, where it's talking about like corgis. I think it's like between Carol and Patsy. It's one of the most bizarre, bizarre exchanges between two characters in a game ever. It's talking about corgis and short legs. It makes absolutely no sense.
So you remember, you remember. How could you forget? That felt more like a mission from two, just in, somehow. Yeah, there's a, there's a sort of some debate over which version is better, the original or the definitive edition. Um, because they, they added more voice and dialogue and stuff, but for some actors, um... <laughs> some, some, some of the actors, of course, um, didn't come back for various reasons, but for some of the actors, they did come back and it's been many years and they don't quite have the voice they used to. It's not their fault really, it's just been you know, long enough that it can be quite distracting when they noticeably jump between different voice actors for some people. Oh my god, it's this level again from Octo Expansion. They seriously brought this back from Octo Expansion. What the heck? Okay, alright, okay. So let's start by kind of slicing this way. Yep, that's good, that's good. All my years of Minecraft serving me well. Yeah, you'd think they'd... You, I mean, you wouldn't because it's Namco, but you'd think they would... Uh, they'd think they'd re-record all, all the lines with the same voice actor, or at least make it consistent in the same scene or something. Okay, we got that much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um... Not knowing much about the Persona 4 situation, I'm under the impression that, well, I'm pretty sure many people have mentioned that, um, yeah, uh, Chie's um, voice acting got, got some negative attention, and I don't know whether it was redone because of the negative attention, or whether, you know, it was just because they wanted more lines and then the actor wasn't interested. In, um, possibly because of the negative attention. You know what I'm saying? Whether they kind of re-recorded it because there was hostility, or whether they re-recorded it because they wanted more lines and they couldn't get more because of the hostility. to a good start. Welcome to my Minecraft stream. Um, <laughs> I'm not doing one of those, I would not be able to stick to the one hour rule. Not that I do anyway, but I'd be I'd be really, really screwed. Okay, I want to go one block in sides of this. Yep. And then we want to slice off the top here. Oh, they're giving it a little eye with the glass. That's cool. Just checking for any kind of cheeky asymmetry. I don't think they would do that, but you never know. So I seem to remember when I did this, um, I had to do it with like a weapon that had splash damage and it was so difficult. Um, it 
because like in some cases you couldn't avoid hitting some of the crates and you could avoid breaking them but you had to damage them at least a little bit and it, it really really put you on edge a bit when it's sort of like well yeah I'm getting some splash damage in this crate hopefully I don't put enough damage into it that it actually breaks oh they put windows in there as well cool Here comes the tough bit because you have to memorize what the uh, you, know, you, you can like look left to right right there and line them up nicely but on the opposite side you've got to try and memorize what, what that side looks like so I think this one into here and then it goes yeah like that and then I think I just scoop the yeah I scoop the top two layers to the leftmost column away completely okay that's looking pretty good what else have we got? Okay, we've got, to, we've got to take this corner piece out. So let's shoot through the edge, so we're probably not going to break another crate doing it. There we go. Well, through the edge, through the corner. Oh, it's done. Fair enough. I thought they, they were like, oh yeah, use the... Um, Use the zip caster to get lots of angles on it, and I'm like, didn't really need to, to be honest. Should I go up here for the uh, the power eggs though? Ah, I need to actually go over there. Kind of trippy. What's, what's this all about? Oh yeah, yeah, the sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought it was out of range, but I don't know, Marie. Have we? <laughs> oh, the AI makes a comment. That's cool. So, I mean, given that the GameCube had a, like, a development title of the Dolphin, I mean, is this place run by a GameCube? That would be a twist. Um, if it did happen, I guess I did see it coming, but I wouldn't expect them to do it, if you know what I mean. What do you see, buddy? What do you got? What do you got for me? Oh, is it that? Yay, Sardinium! I think we're up to three now, aren't we? Yes. Stop thinking about what I'm going to spend it on. Done that one. Anything else in Zara haven't done? Mm, no, I think it's all done. Done that one. Oh, oh, I have done that. It's just not drawing the um, completion triangle thing over the top. Okay, so we're at site four. Have we done them all? I think so. It's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, yep. Um, probably missed some at site three, I think. Okay, on to site six, I guess. Now I'm thinking about what, I'm, what kind of things I would actually do on a Minecraft stream and I'm like, this is a bad road to be going down. It's not a good place to be. 
Today we're exploring brutalist architecture in Minecraft. Wait, why don't I just walk? <laughs> Runs straight to the fast travel entrance and then uses the other fast travel. Oh. Kind of wanted to be over there. It's kind of here. Crow the case on me remembering how the map's structured. I seem to have a lot of power eggs. I'm wondering if I'm either going to have a lot to spend them on, or, um, or if maybe I've just been collecting more than you're supposed to, if that makes sense. Um, I think it was a polygon. Ah, are we doing the invisible islands thing? Final area and then two, all the islands were invisible and floating. That was kind of fun. They kind of like turned that final stage area into kind of like a, a level on, all on its own. Oh, there it is. No, not, not invisible, just... Ah! Um, sometimes I'm corporeally challenged. Turn rail, good. Let's see what that first level is in here. Oh, we've got another Silent Hill level, okay. I've not really used the Splatanas that much. This is the one that yeah, goes over horizontally, quite vertical, doesn't it? Like on... Okay, yeah, he charges up to make it. And this thing looks like a chainsaw. What the heck? Sometimes, somehow that's kind of like more vicious than just a sword. It's a chainsaw. Yeah, that is the end. Just hanging. give ourselves some terrain to control. Oh, it's a deathmatch level. Time to show how little I've learned about using this button. Damn, I can't hit. <laughs> I can't aim for... <laughs> Oh, is that actually a thing, a chainsaw? I, I guess it must be, right? And Gears of War's got the whole chain gun thing. Well, unfortunately for you, um, Chaos won. Order lost the uh, the final first of Splatoon 2, so... There we go. Oh, she moved fast. Oh, I, I didn't realise that. I, I thought that, um... Well, I assumed that either the conquest was going to be never-ending or Order was going to win. I thought that was like the outline of a... of a... Octoling. Damn, I missed him. There's a lot going on down there. OK, 
Okay, what are we doing? That's the plan. It's one down. One of the things is, like, um, isn't it kind of like... I'm showing my ignorance of Warhammer here, but... Isn't it like um, a really long, ongoing saga, like crossing millennia and stuff? I was gonna, that's exactly what I was going to say, like, isn't it like... Um, even, even if there was eventually a victory, it's, it's like a thing going on for a long time. There's like, there's like the, is it called the Dreadfleet, the thing where they're like pirate ships? And that's presumably before the ones of the spaceships, I would guess? I guess not, because the bridge is low. Oh, okay. Right, so they're both under the Warhammer, sort of like... ...overbrand, but the, um... But they're actually sort of separate sub-brands and universes? Man, like... Warhammer has the deepest lore. I guess they're uh, pertaining to everyone. Where are they? Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> The thing with that is, I mean, like, it kind of goes like forwards, and I didn't really have a good spot to chuck it where it actually hit the whole sort of size. I was pretty tight though. Um, yeah, I don't really get how to use that weapon in combat. Oh. Like a 3D interior. That's impressive. It's got like blinds on it, like an office building as well. I guess this is probably the X Human HQ, huh? What have you got to say for yourself, Kelly? Damn, not bad. Okay, that. Oh, actually, let's get this. What we got? Golden record. Cool. Anyway. Anyway. That will do it for today, as although I may not be able to stop at one hour for Minecraft, I'm going to stop at one hour for this. Thank you very much for watching, I'll pick this up, um, and they said tomorrow, but what I actually meant was Monday, sometime 7pm, tomorrow at 9am, who knows? <laughs> something will happen, we'll make something happen. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then, whenever then is, and whatever then is doing. Yeah.